name is Christine Phillips, but you can call me Chrissy. I'm a fashion designer. She is an accomplished designer with over 15 years in the fashion industry. So how do you get that marbleized look? It's a secret. Oh, okay, we're not giving away a secret. Her fresh designs have flourished in the women's apparel field. Here to tell us about her annual gala fashion show, which is coming up this weekend, is designer Christine Phillips. Christy, great to have you. Particularly fashion with a purpose. Joining us is fashion designer Christine Phillips, a New Jersey native. With 15 years in the industry, this funky designer creates fashions that are ideal for the author, but with a flair. Like 19 years I've been having my annual fashion show, uh, but I've been designing since I was in third grade. <laughs> I get inspiration from all over, and that's one of the things um, that I've learned when I was in college. I learned to pull inspiration from anything, and I used inspiration to everything around me. It's like a, a blessing and a curse at the same time. I don't know how to think small. I, I don't know how to think small. I, I try, but I can't. Sometimes the ladies take out their clients, you can drop it down, and you can go straight to evening, go out to dinner, have a little more fun. Wow. Boom, oh, spin, sweet pea. Yeah, oh wow, that is, spin. <laughs> see? That really and is have fun. beautiful. Dance I yeah. love that look. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is about Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, and this is also about Christine Phillips. That's why we're here, right? All of this would not be possible without her. She's been doing this for 18 years. 18 years. Ooh, look at you, Calista. <laughs> That's hot. Nice to meet you too. I'm rocking. Hey, babe, you're rocking it, babe. You're rocking it. It's a very fun atmosphere. She has a very big personality, so yeah, it's fun. And her attitude is really like uplifting, and she really just wants the best for the show. Like she's so excited about it. You got stuck in the Uber? Yeah. <laughs> look at you. Oh, that haircut is sharp. Isn't it? It's cool. Yeah. I know. What's going on, legs? Hey. Look at you. How are you? Girl, I'm not here. I always enjoyed the show. She's amazing. Go ahead, girl. Right. Wait till you see what she has in the, in the show. Mm. Oh, she's not playing around. I love it. How are you? Good. You got here on time. I know. If the collection looks anything like this, it's going to be a great She's wearing her own design. That's, that's really beautiful. Zach, this is such a cool thing that uh, I think Chrissy is doing. If I have to make 30 garments and I have to say, all right, I have to make a dress, you know, two dresses a week or whatever, you, you know, you buckle down, you do it. With 15 years in the industry, this spunky designer creates fashions that are ideal for the office, but with a flair. I can't wait to see your clothing line, Chrissy. How are you? Hi, Joanne. How are you? What we love so much about Chrissy is that she always makes it about people who really need it. In this case, it's the children at CHOP who definitely need this moment for tonight. It's really great to give back to community. It's very important and everything that she does for um, not only just in fashion but also supporting young children with her uh, summer uh, classes that she gives to children that uh, teaches them the skills and trade of fashion industry and how to design clothing. It's really wonderful. I've done events for Children's Miracle Network before and I'm actually a Goodwill Ambassador for them in my state. So the cause really hits close to home for me. You also have a boot camp for, for kids during the summertime too, right? Yes, ages from 11 to about 17. These young ladies are wearing their own designs. They made these fashions. Wow. Yes, it's a fashion university. is a comprehensive sewing camp and curriculum. No experience is needed. They learn everything. My four years of college in three weeks for these young kids. That's pretty amazing. Because <laughs> design comes from inspiration. So each one of these girls had an inspiration for their outfits. Really quick. What's the inspiration to your to your dress? Um, mine is rainbows. Rainbows. Mm -hmm. Mine's a waterfall. Mine's New Year's Eve. Wow! Oh, I love that. Mine was the New York City skyline. Oh, wow. wonderful! Flaming heart with ruffles. So oh, a nice. flaming so heart with ruffles. Of everything. So, with that in my head, I, I think of all the things that I like. You know, I love good food. You know, I like good music. I like people to have a good time. I want to make sure they dance. I want to make sure that the my garments are good. I want to make sure that. Um, I have good vendors there, and I like to, um, I like not just serve, but I like to give back. So during the shows, I try to uh, donate to any cancer foundation or, or something that has to deal with kids in education or helping kids. Hey guys, I'm Francesca Russo. I'm going to be hosting tonight along with my co-host and colleague, Aaron Coleman. We both work at NBC10 Morning News and NBC10 as well. We also have all the 
the Miss Pennsylvania, Miss New Jersey's, and Miss Pennsylvania Juniors, all the, the pageant, um, pageant girls come out um, for my event. The whole reason we're so happy to be here and be a part of it, not only is she so sweet and so kind to have us here, but it's awesome to see a local designer giving back to such a worthy cause. I want to say thank you to Christy tonight for putting on this amazing event and what's going to be an awesome fashion show. I think Christine's drive is amazing. She always wants to help everyone out, um, and I think that's the biggest mission behind tonight. I've been to many fundraisers um, before, and it seems like the same thing. We love it. Christine is like a long life friend. She's a fashion designer, South Jersey designer. South Jersey support stylists and designers. <laughs> so I want to try to do something different and try to try to make it as fun as possible. We try to be unique in the, the style of the event. And we also, because of the, the media coverage that we have, um, it's great exposure for anybody, uh, whether it's down to the caterer, to, the, to my uh, vendors. So I want to make sure they get as much as coverage as they possibly can. And I do that for all my, all my uh, sponsors. So um, I think about, again, I think about the, the bigger picture and how I can help them as well. Venues, um, over 22,000 square feet all, all night. We have live coverage uh, um, throughout the evening. And so through our step and repeats where our celebrities are or our um, hosts, whether from the one of the networks mentions their, mentions their name, it goes all throughout um, the internet. <laughs> My father passed away of um, cancer, 1997, so whenever I do anything that's uh, an event, I like to give the proceeds away. She's always been helpful with humanity and helping people, and I'm just happy to be a part of that experience. Thank you, Christy. They help the, the community. American Cancer Society um, does great in research and development and also caring about the families. We have the same mission, same vision. Uh, about children. Um, they help the uh, community with free screenings and research. That's one of the main missions that I have for what I do. They, they call me afterwards, they call me in the morning. It's like a, it's like a, a ritual thing. They always call me like either on my way home or uh, in the middle of the night, like one, two in the morning. Um, they're, if you're the first time coming, they're in awe when they walk in because um, we try to be as friendly and uh, to serve them and be as hospitable as possible so they're in, in, in all and in, in how we cater to them. Um, and um, it's an all-round fun, you know, all-round fun event. Uh, benevolence means the desire to do good. I love that about people. It takes a village to put an event together. What Chrissy Phillips is doing, it just blows my mind. They're really important, so it's great to be able to use this creativity and then also do your cre creative effort for a really good cause. You're with the American Cancer Society. Yes, I am. How important was it for you to partner with this? Well, it's extremely important to partner with Chrissy. Thank you so much for what you do for the society. We are... Again, I like to serve. I like to give back. I like to share um, my expertise, my gifting, to help uh, others, whether it's uh, to bring awareness, to raise funds, to bring joy to somebody. Um, I have over 200 people there that one night, so I wanna make sure that with that night that I, I give you all of me and uh, and to help somebody else. <laughs>